I'm just about to re replace the sway bar bushings uh, for the rear side up to Discovery 3. So there's two bolts there you've got to undo. Um, this is fairly it's, it's not bad actually. The bush, bushes are pretty good. Um, I'm just hearing some clunk noise, so I just want to make sure I go and change all the bushings. Um, hence, I'm, I'm starting with the, the sway bar as the first um, place to go, and then I'll keep changing the knuckle, uh, the upper control arm, lower control arm, and the top and bottom of the knuckle. Hopefully that should resolve it. So the bolt is a um, 13mm socket. So I've taken the bolt, uh, sorry, both bolts off. So I need to lever them out using um, a screwdriver or a crowbar. And I'll take the, the bracket off and then push it out. And then I'll have to get the bushing out and push it out as well. Um, and just take it off on this side because there's not enough room above the, uh, just above the bush there. Yep, so finally managed to, so it was pretty, it's pretty hard stuck on the, under the bar, so I had to pry out the, the, the bush itself. It doesn't look that bad actually, the bush. It's an original Land Rover. Uh, um, um, but anyways, I'm going to replace it. So I just clean up the, the base there and put the new one in. In reverse order, so I'll have to wrap the new one around this uh, bar and then push it in there uh, along with the cap. So cap's got uh, this um, little two little recessed area that has to line up with line up with the um, bushing, and you just have to slide it into the right spot and then bolt it down. But you gotta do both sides first and then only bolt because once you bolt one side, it becomes pretty tough to move the other side so do both sides first and then bolt them together so I have managed to get the new one in sort of lining up so I've done it on the either side as well now the next step is to put the bolt in and just push it down I think for the rear one it's 62 Newton meter torque uh, I'll see if I can fit my torque rings there but if not I'll I can sort of estimate right, so I've managed to put the line up the the bolts on both sides now I'm tightening them using the 13 mil spanner unfortunately I don't have a ratchet spanner so I need to it's a bit uh, time consuming but I need to do um, I need to use this small spanner and maybe turn it 100 times just to get it down to the depth where I can then insert the ratchet um, to uh, tighten the bolt